Welcome back to Soma. Our plan to take the Dunbat unfortunately failed because the WoW stuffed an intelligence inside of the submersible craft, which as you can imagine, didn't make it too happy. Not really a good place to wake up in, you know, the, the body of a submersible craft. Feels kind of strange, I would imagine. Not that I have any experience, but yeah, probably didn't feel good. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we need to make our way to Omicron now, which is our plan B. Go to Omicron, get in the climber, and take it to the abyss. But before that, I think we need to do some stuff with the Ark. I think we need to try to upload our consciousnesses to the Ark or something like that. So let's take a look around. My decision. I have decided to finalize the, finalize the Ark with the scans we have. I'm sorry for all of you who wanted to go but didn't get a chance to scan yourself before the project was put on hold. It's been two months since I've added a scan, and I don't see how I'll ever be able to win back the support you all showed when we started the project. I'm sorry. I never meant for anyone to take their lives. It was never my intention to fool anyone. I just wanted to save something. It's from Catherine. What's left? Oh, is that a to-do list? Yep. Seal the capsule. Wait, so they haven't even sealed the capsule yet. Which means we could still totally scan ourselves and put ourselves in it. Module, seal it. Permission, well that's irrelevant. Brief, irrelevant. Take shuttle to Omicron, okay, still need to do that. Power suits, climber, regroup, launch, load it. Or head to launch site, load it, and then actually launch the arc. Okay. Yeah, so it's it's still... Wait, is it still here? Is the capsule still behind me? Like... Is that the capsule? Is that the capsule? No. No, I don't think it's here. I'm pretty sure it was taken over. But it looks like it hasn't been sealed yet. Yeah, show me. Where are you? Yeah, it's at Tau right now. Which is in the abyss. Or, wait. Yeah, the green is just you are here. That's the arc. To gauge staff opinion, please fill out the short survey. <laughs> sure. Recently, it was decided that the arc project would become Pathos 2's last official commitment. The staff has been urged to carry on with their duties despite Earth's catastrophic condition. I think the ARC project is the most logical step towards saving mankind, and that we should spend as much time and resources as needed to complete it. The most logical step towards saving mankind. Um... I, I suppose so. I mean, what else are you gonna do? The entire surface of the Earth became uninhabitable, right? I'm not gonna say strongly agree, but I'll say agree. To embark, every passenger needs to be flushed with electromagnetism using a pilot seat. These scanning sessions are known to cause nausea and headaches, sometimes lasting up to three days. I think temporary physical discomfort, no matter how severe, is a small price to save mankind. Well, yeah, of course. I'm just thinking about this. So after scanning, you get nausea and headaches, sometimes lasting up to three days. I'm just trying to think, does that apply to me at all? I mean, my character certainly hasn't been doing well. It seems like the longer he goes between touching those things that are connected to the WoW, when he like sticks his arm inside, it seems like the longer he goes before doing that, the like the worse his vision gets. But that's not related, right? I mean, he's a robot. I'm a robot. I, w I was scanned a hundred years ago. Anyway. Strongly agree. The Ark is built to fit a Ranger Mark 7 probe, meaning it could be shot into space with the Omega space gun, and technically survive for thousands of years, living off the light from our sun and distant stars. I think the Ark should leave Earth behind and be launched into space. Absolutely. Get it away from Earth. Find somewhere else. The digitalization of humanity is an opportunity to make a quantum leap in our own evolution. The people inside the Ark will, out of necessity, be generated from existing genetic code, 
but could be altered to allow for cosmetic changes, ease aging, and even prevent death. I think we are at risk of losing our humanity if we were to rid ourselves of disease and our mortality. Ah, uh, hmm. Okay, well, if we were to rid ourselves of disease, absolutely not. That's... No, you're not, you're not losing humanity, whatever that means by doing that. But losing our mortality... Maybe? It really depends what it means by losing humanity. I mean, in a strict literal sense, I guess, yes. Because dying and being mortal is a very big part of being human. Of being any sort of biological thing, really. And so if you lose that, then yeah, I suppose you're losing your humanity. But, I mean, losing your humanity comes with a, a strong connotation of that being negative. As if we're becoming, you know, subhuman or whatever. I don't agree with that connotation. Literally speaking, though, yeah. It certainly would make us think very differently if we weren't mortal. Hmm... I'm gonna say agree. Not strongly, not strongly agree, but just agree. There are only 58 people left alive to be stored inside the Ark. A way to diversify and expand the population would be to introduce artificial intelligences that would in every way appear to be human, but with childlike and naive sensibilities. As we continue to explore the nature of intelligence, we may find a way to make them smarter in the future. I think even an inferior group of artificial people would benefit our society. Holy shit, that's creepy. Artificial intelligences to diversify the population. Uh, I'm sorry, that's creepy. Benefit? I don't... Mm. I mean, I don't have any reason to think it would hurt, but it's really creepy, so I'm going to say disagree. This is how your colleagues voted. Oh, wow. Much more people strongly agreed. I only agreed. Definitely the majority there. Mm, looks like it's pretty evenly split between all the options here. Pretty evenly split between strongly agree and agree. 0% <laughs> strongly disagreed. And looks like I was in the majority for the artificial evolution. Great. You know, even though the world's ended, I bet my answers to that survey are still going to be data mined by Google to serve me ads. Thanks, Google. Th that was my little, like, petulant temper tantrum. I upended, partially upended a cup with two pens and a marker. I'm going to write on the screen. D oh, no, I'm going to drop it behind. Forty-three percent memory corrupted. Simulation reconfiguration necessary. Forty-three percent of the memory equals eight hundred and ninety-six terabytes. That's a lot of data. Jesus. Please reduce memory footprint. Hmm. Um. Well, let's look for the big ones. I guess let's look for the locations. Like, do we need exterior sun, noon? Not really. Mm, looks like I might be messing up some things. Looks like there's some warnings popping up. Physics fluid. Uh, do I really want to turn that off? <laughs> no, I don't think I want to turn off simulating fluid physics. That seems unwise. Vegetation advanced or basic? Let's get rid of advanced, go for basic. Soma, hum. Soma, why is there something called Soma? That's the name of the game. 
Hmm. Okay, so what am I missing? Type Soma. Uh, base. Base, base, base. Vegetation advanced. Uh, type Soma. Is it that you need? No. Wait, where is it? Sim base. Type Soma. And that... Hmm. How the heck does this work? I'm gonna come back to this. Actually, wait. Can I do anything with that? Nope. I'll come back to that later. I'm not touching you. The Ark doesn't even look that bulky. This is gonna be easy. You haven't heard of the concept of jinxing, have you? Sorry, I forgot your people were superstitious. <laughs> My people? <laughs> Humans? I'm not even a human, though. Oh, she means people of the past, doesn't she? Okay, we need to connect some things. Where do you go? Actually, those were probably connected to the Ark, weren't they? Maybe. I don't see where else they could go. don't do anything. Hmm. What's this thing? That's just a compound examiner. Coster uses it to investigate structural integrity in payload frameworks. Of course. Could you fit inside it? If I knew what you were made of, it would be a hell of a lot easier to figure out how to get you on the Ark. Well, I'll give it a try. She wants to scan my body. I really don't trust Catherine. She wants to know everything about me. I mean, if she knew everything about what I'm constructed of, I guess it would make it easier for me to get on the Ark, but it would also make it easier to, for example, kill me. I don't think I have a choice, though, and... Well, I guess I don't have to worry about the radiation hazard, at least. I'm a robot. Bit of a tight fit. Can you reach the on switch? Should I be worried about radiation? I think we're beyond that. Interesting. You seem to be one with the diving suit you're wearing. Everything's meshed together. How's that gonna work with the suit we're picking up at Omicron? Um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. Imogen? Who's that? It looks like the basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. Hmm. A standard cortex chip for robots, including the data reader and the ocu torch, has just been forced through the skull. What? Structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 hold on, back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? Well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. Hey, don't say that. She was my... She was nice to me. Anyway, the Cortex chip is good news. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot seat. Kath, I'm half a dead person. Yes, it makes sense. Think about it. All those simplistic minds we've run into? Just reviving a dead person doesn't seem to work that well. A robot body seems to make people a bit unreliable. You are the best of both worlds. A sound mind and a sound body. At least we know how to get on the arm. Sort of. I understand the concept, but I don't know the specifics. I really wish we could figure out how the scan data is formulated and processed. So I guess I'm kind of more half robot.
Hmm. That's Phi, all right. Quick stop at Omicron, then Tau, then Phi. Let's do it. Himatsu power suit, proper usage. Put on the blah blah blah. Mm. <laughs> Does any of this matter? Do safety precautions really matter anymore? Secure button. Um. Don't try to fix yourself if the suit doesn't seal itself. HPSs are very heavy and the suit will compensate. You will effectively be stronger than you think you are. Don't hold your breath. Don't stay out too long. Don't dive too deep. Don't dive with malfunctioning equipment. Okay. Wow, that's so cool. It's the whole gang. A crew photo? Really? Who were you saving this for? The world was dead. Thanks, Simon. I thought being an asshole wasn't invented until the 22nd century. <laughs> now I know better. Hmm. This seems important. Okay, so I just need to get this thing working, right? I guess? Or can we go? Start an arc simulation. I want to see how it works. Okay, yeah, we need to get this thing working. Hmm. <laughs> so I guess I need a simulation base. So I guess I need this. I need light source. And I need water? Is that right? Light, 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 light. Sun? Okay. Uh, but the moon also works for light, and that's much smaller. So let's go with that. Uh, do I have anything smaller than a river? Yeah, the lake I think would be good. Yep. Hmm. Bench? <laughs> no, that doesn't do anything. Okay, so I don't need that. Uh, I still need to remove a lot of space, though. Do I really get rid of fluid physics? So I guess I just need these. So yeah, I've got to get rid of something here. I need advanced. I don't need basic for some reason. <laughs> I don't need heat. Uh, I do need that. Hmm. I need to cut off a bit more space, but I can't seem to remove anything. Hold on. Is there something smaller than a lake that I can use here? I'm missing something. I'm close, but I'm missing something. Hmm. I'm gonna mess around with this. I'll be right back. There we go. Finally got it. So basically, it's just a matter of looking at dependencies and just kind of doing trial and error to narrow down exactly what you need. So for example, you have to have some sort of a simulation package, which is... the only one is this one. So you need to have this, and that requires some sort of water requires type water. So then I went with river for that, but you could have gone with lake, but lake doesn't work. And then once you add in river, then you have to add in certain system things to be able to simulate the environment of a river, such as fluid physics, for example, is required. Buoy physics also required. So just kind of stuff like that. Um, to be honest, I absolutely hate this puzzle and I'm glad it's done. Goodbye. Try loading a dummy scan. Shouldn't be that difficult. I just want to make sure I understand how the scan data is formulated before we start messing around with the real arc. Run the simulation and then hit pause while the code is running. It'll give me a cross-section of the process. Hmm, she said run a dummy one, but what if I run myself? Simon Jarrett. 
<laughs> I'm kind of tempted. Um. I'm gonna do it. Better not use real data. I don't want to repeat what we did to Brandon. Second that. Oh, I wanted to try it. <laughs> Alpha version 3. Isn't that really disturbing? The idea of your consciousness being simulated in an alpha program? You know, bugs in software like a game or something is one thing, but bugs in basically your ability to exist? Not something you want. We need to pause while the dummy is loaded, otherwise I can't know if it's working or not. Oh, is it not loaded yet? Oh. Oh, it's going through the modules. Uh, let's slow it down. There we go. Yes, of course. So precise, so perfect. Nothing like admiring your own work. What? Oh, right. All right. Are we done here? Can we go to Omicron and get my new suit now? Yeah, we should get going. Want to bring this arc as a backup? No, that wouldn't work. This is just a prototype. Hmm, good. I prefer to travel light. Let's go. Don't forget to take me with you. We need transport to Omicron. That is what we're looking for. Holy shit. Maybe I can break that window. Sounded like one of the proxies. What's in the vent? A rendering error is what's in the vent. <laughs> I don't think that's big enough. Need like a fire extinguisher. Should be something big in here. Oh god. I'm not touching it. Not touching it. Oh, uh, this might do. Does that come from here? From the door? Or to the door? This place looks really, really large. I even see a map over there. Oh boy. 
Oh yeah, this place is freaking huge. Jesus. Fuck. Whoa. Is that it? The proxy? Is it actually here? Like right around the corner? It sounded close. What the hell? Terry Akers, Chief Factor at Delta, first assessment. Brought in today, January 16th, 2104. Reportedly found in his dive suit. Unconscious. Water. Acres has clearly been consuming large amounts of structure gel for weeks, probably. It's difficult to tell how this has affected his health beyond the obvious number of and if it somehow caused him to gouge out his eyes. Small amounts of gel have always been considered perfectly safe to handle, but I can't recall ever hearing about any recommendations on how to treat a full exposure. Considering its properties, I doubt it's poisonous, but the more transformative aspects of the thoroughfare makes me think that malign cell mutations are to be expected. I think... I think I will need to consult Dr. Eames at Omicron about this. I wonder if you consume enough of the stuff if you turn into a proxy. Is that what a proxy is? Someone like Akers who consumes so much of the structure gel that they just transformed? can see the boot prints. Yeah, they came from here and they went this way. And then I guess they just stayed here. How How is this person alive, though? The other ones were connected up. Like, I thought they were being kept alive by, by the WoW or, or by the growth or something, but this person's not connected to anything. I really have to read all these log entries while this person wheezes next to me? Ugh. I guess so. Just try to ignore it. <clears throat> uh, Acres, age 66, male. One of the worst cases I've seen, and it's most likely his own damn fault. He blinded himself and clogged. Uh. Oh shit. I can't open doors, right? Right? Oh fuck! I really thought I wouldn't be able to open doors. <gasps> Fuck me. And there was no way I could have turned off the lights in that room or anything to hide. There was nowhere to hide. Oh, 
I'm not gonna run. I'm not gonna run. If I run, it's gonna hear me. Where's it going? Okay, let's go this way. Let's just stay on the left side of the base for now. Oh, somebody broke this thing. Stromer! Brand, where are you? It got out of hand. I'm in sector RD4. Did you get everyone downstairs? Yeah, we're safe for now. But you need to get moving. They're gonna figure out where we are and come for us. Don't worry about it. The stairs are blocked and I killed the elevator. Pull the connector chip from the lock. Why? That means you're stuck as well. Only way to keep you guys safe. Take the shuttle, go to Omicron. God damn it, Juan. You just had to be a hero, you bastard. Good luck, sir. Tell Alice I love her. Need a connector chip, I guess. Ooh. Ooh, that thing's getting close. I hear it. Okay, where am I? I'm at the main lift, right? Yeah, I've gotta be. Yep, to the right is my storage. Or, to the right of me is storage. Left is payload design. This place is big. It's really big. Uh, there's a security checkpoint, top left. That might be a good place to go. There could be, I don't know, maybe a weapon, possibly? I doubt it, but maybe. I'm gonna close the doors behind me, now. Sarah, how the hell are we gonna make sure the Ark makes it? Every launch is a crapshoot, you know that. I just wish these numbers looked better. What do you care? It's just a pack of data, right? Yeah, just a pack of data. My beautiful scissors, comfort me. <laughs> What's this? What the hell is that thing doing? Is it in the vents? Sounds like it's in the freaking vents. Not gonna touch you. Yeah, I heard it in the vents, and now I don't hear it stumbling around anymore. So I think it's gone for now. Of efficiency. Yeah, they're trying to figure out exactly how to get the, the arc working and I guess where to launch it. Best way to launch it. <laughs> hey, man. My view sure is getting distorted. I'd like to touch one of those things to reset it back, but 
Not gonna do it. That looks really disgusting. And that looks like something they found at a certain site. It's an arrow pointing- whoa. Fuck, it's back. And it's close. I'm not gonna close the door, I know I can hear that and I know it can open doors. Closer, I can throw a distraction. It's getting closer. Okay, that didn't go as far as I wanted it to. I wanted it to go all the way into the conference room. That went like one foot. But I heard it in the hallway. It didn't hear it in here, so I don't think it's gonna come in here. One more foot in this room. Okay. Okay. Oh. No, oh, fuck that thing is fast. Jesus. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. No, no, I don't think I'm okay. It's back in the vents. No, I'm really not okay. I think I need to touch one of those things. It's hard to see. Looks like they were doing experiments on the, the growths. Infirmary. Yeah, bandages, please. Oh, it's just back to this place. Okay, well, my vision's gotten better, maybe? Maybe not. I thought it had, but no, I don't think it actually did. I should touch one of those things. Uh. Okay, I've already been there, already been there, in the conference room. Security, they might have a cipher or something. came out.
hear you, Brandon. What do you got? Akers and his critters are ferocious. They pick up on every move. There's no way past them. Then we'll fight them. We got to get to the shuttle. And end up like Shank and Adams? No way. Listen, I'll create a distraction and pull them to me. Get the gang to the shuttle station. Wait, Brandon, what are you doing? Don't worry, Alice. I'll look back as soon as you guys are safe. Just load up the shuttle and be ready to go. Are you sure about this? I don't plan to die today, sir. See you at the shuttle. Don't hear it. Akers is not alone. At least three proxy creatures. Check concealed doors. Move downstairs. Shuttle to Omicron. Checklist. Survive the Ark Project. Stop people from killing themselves. Send off C and the team. Keep people safe. Enjoy the rest of Armageddon. This must be Strohmeyer's place, right? Override door lock. Lock limits active. Remaining resources 0%. Crap. Oh, I've got to choose where I want to lock off. Gotcha. Well, it looks like there's only one place that I actually can even unlock. It's there. So I guess I just got to lock one place. <laughs> can I lock security while I'm in it? I can. It means I'm perfectly safe in here. That thing can't come and get me. And <laughs> perfect timing. Hey, I don't even care if you see me. You can't get inside, asshole. Some people that died crossed off the list. Why is there a question mark next to Lansky? I've got to find a chip and insert it to be able to do anything with it. Dispatch corrupt, 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 corrupt. Machine hanger. Huge structure gel leak has caused the WoW to seize control over the Dunbat. Forced to quarantine to avoid further development. Last thing we need is another talking machine. And what did I do? I unleashed the Dunbat that had been quarantined. I'm starting to really not trust Catherine. What if she knew and she had me unleash it on purpose? Hmm. Alright. I need, uh, like a security keycard. I also need to unlock this door. Which one I've already been into that I don't... Whoa. Maybe I don't want to unlock it. It sounds really, really close. Could I trap that thing in a room? That would be beautiful. But then it would just get into an air, one of the air ducts, right? Unless I trapped it into a room that didn't have an air duct. <gasps> Ooh. That would be great. Let's just block... Uh, doctor's office. Examination room. Com uh, conference room. Conference room doesn't matter. Okay, so, wait a minute. Where am I gonna find what I need? Security checkpoint doesn't have a card. Restrooms, maintenance, maybe maintenance? The maintenance could have it. So go out into the hallway and then straight to my left, I think? Oh, well. <laughs> Never mind. 
I don't know, I'm just gonna look for a place I haven't been into before. Mm. It's in the air, ducks. I guess I should get to the place I just unlocked. I think it's on the other side of this place. And this is the place I just unlocked, isn't it? Actually, I'm not sure. I think I've been in here before. Also want to see if I can break that. Yeah, storage? No, I've already been in storage before. Should I touch that thing to get my health back? I don't know. I really don't know. Fuck. Fuck, stop making noise. Maybe I just can't break that window. No, I think I can break it, though. I really think I can break it. Fuck. I'm gonna touch this thing. Properly now. Oh, this is the place I unlocked. I'm gonna. Shit. I'm gonna hope it heard the can and didn't see me. Go, 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 go. Oh. I should be okay. If it does come into this room, it won't come in too deep. I wanna close the door, but it makes so much noise. I think it's in the room. It's in the room. Mm. No, it's just outside the room. It's pacing back and forth outside the room. Now it's coming in the room. I think the security card's right in his hand. Fuck! <sighs> if this thing comes in this room and sees me, I'm gonna grab that card and I'm gonna run out the door and I'm gonna close it behind me. Get the f fuck out of this room! Oh, it's outside. I don't think I need anything else from in here. Back to security, insert the ship, load up some new security stuff, and then put it in the elevator, I think. Okay, it's coming back this way. That's good. Now's my chance. so fast.
key expired. Update it, please. Okay. Alright, back to the elevator. In the dark. And I can't see shit. Do I turn on my flashlight? No. No, I don't. This thing's not about to fall, is it? Can I pop the hatch and get out of here? Just in the floor? That seems awfully dangerous. Oh, oh. I think the elevator's about to fall. I'm pretty sure it's about to fall. Come on. Come on. was about to fall. Guess not. Oh, well. I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. I think I've had my enough heart attacks for the day. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.